Sometimes there are brands that have embedded themselves so much in the consumer psyche that they become generic for that category. On Brands That Build India today, we feature one such brand, an Italian brand that couldn't be more Indian. Distillery means pure water. Now, the taste of that water was definitely different than other, I mean, your home water. If it's just like, like boiled water. Distillery is like a pure crystal drinking water. It is supposed to be a pure and safe uh, drinking water. People take Bisleri personally. I take Bisleri because it's really pure. Bisleri is very good water, good water. Or test me a chalakta. I don't know. I mean I I know it's it it's packaged drinking water, but as far as the meaning goes, I don't know the meaning. I think it's named after someone. That's right, Bisleri is named after Felici Bisleri, an Italian businessman who brought the brand to India in 1965. Originally mineral water sold in glass bottles, it was bought over by Parley in 1969. Now, as the family business later split into three separate companies, one branch was named Parley Bisleri. Though it was called Parley Bisleri, the focus was clearly on soft drinks. In 1969, they'd only bought Bisleri so that they could sell carbonated water or soda because no soft drink company was complete without it. The Bisleri brand languished for years, with the only real consumers being five star hotels. The Bisleri name was kept on, hoping the Italian pedigree would add the required touch of class for its consumers. This is way back in 64, 65, somewhere there. We had Gold Spot, Limca, not yet thumbs up. So a lot of our attention was going to the carbonated beverage. And Bisteri was still in a glass bottle at that time. So glass bottle, the distribution is very different. And if you send from one place, say Bombay to Calcutta, and bring that empty bottle back. Not very practical. So basically we worked on Bisteri for only for Bombay. But then also as a company, it was a very neglected because whatever effort you put in for your carbonated beverage would give you much better results than with Bisteri. Ramesh Chauhan, who eventually took over the company from his father, is a bit of a brand strategist. With clever advertising and promotions, he built immense loyalty for his soft drink brands, Thumbs Up, Limca, Maza and Gold Spot. Bart was forced to sell them out when he realized that all bottlers wanted to defect to multinationals after liberalization. After we sold to Coca-Cola in 1993, I was unemployed. So I said, okay, now what to do? So, uh, let's take up this bisteri aggressively. So, in, it took us about two, three years to get the mindset of the people who are with me to start thinking about water. And so Chauhan began the task of reinventing his only remaining brand, bisleri. By then, the bottled water market had picked up because of the non-availability of good drinking water. But Johan knew that he would need to concentrate on distribution and innovative SKUs if he wanted to give the brand a bigger push. See, Bisteri in a glass bottle used to be 650 uh, ml or 750 ml, I'm not sure. And then when we went to plastic, 650, 750 makes no sense. You go to one litre and one litre was costing as much as 650 or 750, so the one litre was done. Then in South India, there was somebody who was doing a good job with one and a half litre bottle. So we uh, said, okay, look, it's a one and a half litre, let's put in a two litre bottle. And then after that, we started with a half litre and then a quarter litre. Taking the half litre bottle and pricing it, at a competitive price, which made it more economical to buy a half-liter bottle, you got yourself a reason for the guy to say, why should I buy the liter? Because first of all, when you buy a bottle of water, do you drink a liter? We like walking around with the thing in our hand or in your handbag or whatever it is you put it in and then you drink the rest. But the corporate market and even household market was finally tapped with the larger sizes, the 20-liter cans. 
Today, the company claims that 50% of its sales come from this segment even though it doesn't get adequately reflected in market share figures because it's not sold in retail outlets. The uh, retail bottle water market in India uh, is valued at about 3,800 crores uh, on an annual basis. Uh, and if I were to look at the last two years CAGR growth, is growing at about 14%. Odd. One is of course the affordability part of it. As the affordability is increased, that has made the difference. Second is the availability part of it. It requires uh, distribution across the hinterlands of India for it to make a difference. Third is all about uh, the safety and the health connotation associated with it. I think these are the three things which really, really made a difference. The fourth dimension is the convenience part of it. As people travel, as they're moving out essentially, uh, it's very, very convenient for you to carry a bottle of water and, and pick it up at any point of time. That makes a difference. In 2004, I started a business 50 bottles of 20 liter. After growing, I suddenly went 5 to 6 thousand per month. From last year, when I converted to the Shopee, so I gained my double the figure. Always want to spot the opportunity for publicity and sampling, Chauhan often ensured that bislery bottles were distributed freely at big events and high-profile weddings. With this kind of push, bislery is often the first beverage offered to customers at offices and shops. Jewelry shop you go to, you go to uh, a sari shop or oh, anywhere, the guy will offer you uh, a bottle of water. That's, you know, hospitality. And now, before, what was the system? Chai lao. Chai lao, you need a cup, you need a saucer, you need a teaspoon, you need sugar, milk, tea, so many things. The, the people who are uh, making it now, they also find it cumbersome. What does water mean to us culturally? Okay. One thing is water is, you know, if you go to your house, you will give someone the first water. Okay. The other thing is that no one drinks water. So that's why we came from that because bislery is this handy bottle, you know, you can carry your own. And we wanted to create a dissonance. Like when you listen to Kistu thing, you're thinking, what? Kistu drink. Bislery is on an expansion mode. It now has plans to set up seven more plants shortly. Night success has been engineered by Ramesh Chauhan, the man who gave us India's most popular soft drink, thumbs up, before he sold out to Coca-Cola. It's that kind of mind that has been behind the making of bislery. We're now joined by Santosh Desai of Future Brands, who knows all about the Bisleri brand success. Santosh, thanks very much for joining us on Brands That Build India. You know, I read somewhere that you've called Bisleri more of a brand success or a business success. Why is that? If you want to see where Bisleri is today and, and attribute it to, to uh, something, then it would have to be the fact that the model was really uh, something that uh, Ramesh Johan got right. Of course, it is a brand success also. I mean, uh, there is no question about the fact that it has become synonymous with water, with bottled water in the country, and that is a that is a very big deal. But if you were to look at what is it that led to the brand being what it is, then it has more to do with the elements of the model that he put in place, and less to do with traditional sources of 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 what we consider as being the sources of brand building. Uh, you know, things like advertising. The dominant aspects here were not so much the traditional sources, but, but the fact that he got the model right, and he was able to therefore, uh, like, uh, leverage every element uh, in that, that mix. If we look purely at advertising, would you say it's played a relatively insignificant role in building the Bisleri brand? I think it is true, certainly, that if you were to look at, you know, what makes Bisleri the powerful brand that it is today, uh, you would you would be hard put to to assign too much responsibility to to the advertising. But personally, for instance, I'm not a great fan of Bisleri advertising. I I really don't think that 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 the advertising has added too much to to the brand. It is the fact that uh, uh, they understood how to deliver this brand much more to to consumers when they needed it. It was the ability to make it ubiquitous and to create a sense of trust. Uh, in the brand, uh, which which has led to you know it being what it is today, advertising has uh, not really been the significant driver here. You know, the advertising has never been iconic, effective maybe, but not iconic. So then, how has it become so ingrained in the customer's mind? Partly, it is to do with timing. The fact that you know, it if you were to look at when Bisleri came in, it it preceded this shift in consciousness towards the idea of of health, at least in my childhood, if you were to look at how water was seen. And there was no concept of, of, of purity, no 
concept of of uh, you know of taking precautions of this kind there has been an overall shift in consciousness so i think that that getting the timing right has been an important part of of the uh, of uh, what ramesh chauhan has managed one is to have come in early and and to take a lead the other is to maintain it and i think that is something that ramesh chauhan has managed really really well and the real key to the success of bislari today is his ability to hang tough in the face of competition and to keep uh, the operating sort of uh, elements of of the brand going santosh getting the distribution right and bringing in convenient bottle sizes is perhaps responsible for the kind of success that bislari has seen how do you believe bislari got that right i th- i think the fact that that in terms of having an instinctive feel for the consumer and i think this is what a lot of indian entrepreneurs you know get right because there is a sense of of actually being in touch and 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 in a hands on way in 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 a very personal way having a sense of the market which can't be learnt and so it is not it is not just textbook research but an instinctive feel for the market and the ability to sense and anticipate where the market is moving and where the needs are going so as the idea of water from a more collective so it was it was collective the idea that you know i had a matka at home and which was collective water to personal water from indoor uh, sort of uh, taking care but outdoor being indifferent to being much more careful outdoors some of the elements that these are the elements that drove uh, the business bottle sizing becomes a huge opportunity in particular because it it allows people to use it on the go and and for personal consumption so i think in this case getting that understanding and converting that into something that that worked uh, was was key जब कस्टमर जब हमारे पास आता है वो बिस्लरी मांगता है आधा लीटर की या एक लीटर की तो उसके बदले में हम उसको कोई भी ब्रांड देते हैं तो लगभग लगभग तो 80 90 परसेंट लोग देखते नहीं है वी डोंट टेल हिम गिव अस ड्रिंकिंग वाटर टेल हिम गिव मी ऑन बिस्लरी पीपल विल ऑलवेज गो टू द शॉप एंड मी लाइक भैया बिस्लरी देना प्लीज स्टिल वी आस्क फॉर बिस्लरी समटाइम्स इट्स जस्ट बाय डिफॉल्ट बिस्लरी कम्स आउट ऑफ योर माउथ Santosh you know the people that we interviewed on the show so many of them over and over again said that when they ask for water they ask for bislery is that a disadvantage to be a generic brand or is it in fact an advantage because people accept any brand as bislery without checking you think the key here is to is for people to have a sense of of what the brand is really about and if there is one relatively weak area i think in the brand it is the fact that people it is a highly trusted brand uh, but it is people don't know why exactly they trust it and this is i think partly also a failure of its advertising where it has been clever it has been you know it has made puns and it has made jokes and but that's not it's not really provided an emotional reason or or a place where you understand where bislery is coming from when we talk about a bottled water brand there are bound to be questions raised about the environmental impact but bislery has the answers bislery collects and crushes fat bottles even from different brands and supplies them to companies that use it for fabrics pillows bags etc the image of a responsible company helps it keep up its play safe image how to get better and better value for pet to the uh, rack pickers so that you know they uh, incentivize in the, on their own to see that they are able to we have see there was a time when uh, a rack picker will not pick up a pt bottle they would only take pvc or polyethylene but uh, not uh, now pt has got a good value Since no one could understand the need for water better than Bislery, the company has installed 19 check dams and rainwater harvesting facilities in all Bislery plants across the country. It's proud to claim that it harvests close to 10 billion liters of water annually. God has been good to India. And we've got so much rainfall and almost 80% of the rainfall goes to the sea. Which is criminal. With many dire predictions about water scarcity worldwide, Pali Bislery insists that it's a duty and necessity to harvest water and protect natural water resources, not just a brand building exercise.